You know what? I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. I'm back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Hey y'all, what is good? Okay, so I decided randomly. I was like, hmm. I don't feel like doing my hair tonight. So then what happened was, what happened was, I put my hair in four twists, and then after all of that, I went to sleep with my microfiber towel on, and this is the current situation. Sleep! I don't know about sleep. It's summertime. We have, right now I got two clips in here, but I legit have an afro. So, naturally, I am going to wet my hair to do this style, but I wanted to show y'all how much shrinkage I get and what my hair looks like with zero product in it and after basically um, just going to sleep with a towel on. And like, this shrinkage is so crazy to me, y'all, because it's like, and I just gave myself a trim, so of course it's even shrinking more, but I'm shook. <laughs> it's really cute though, but sis just needs a little moisture some love some tlc okay so we're gonna do a twist out today i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that i got recently at the store so i got of course these guys i've had like the i don't know what they're called like gorilla clips or I, there's a name for these but i've had these before no duck bill clips but they've never worked for me because i had to use clips that had teeth because they would just slide out my hair as you can see is very very thick for all the people that's like, your hair's not that thick. Now seeing it without product, you guys can tell, like. They're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. And for all the naysayers out there that said, and honestly, I think it's because of my complexion or something, y'all be saying I have type three hair, whatever. When I started my natural hair journey, maybe, but this baby, baby, this is type four, okay? This is, this is 4A and then this is, a, this is 4B, okay? You feel me? So anyway i got these and these are more of a professional grade of clips and these are amazing so i'm gonna link some like this in the description box the ones that i'm using are from the wet brush pro brand and they're great i got some of these satin foam rollers boom now foam rollers we gonna get into the hairstyle y'all but y'all know <laughs> if you've ever used sponge rollers they literally snag your hair and break your hair off because the little pores your hair gets caught in those and i was interested because i've tried the pillow rollers but they were just way too unstructured for me and these actually have the stability of a sponge roller but someone that's a genius decided to sew on satin on top of that to end that problem so i hope these work out for my twist out today also diane by from that's an interesting name but thank you from or diane i don't know who did it but it looked like a good idea so we're gonna get started okay um my hair is too dry to even like it's not dry as in like brittle but it feels really soft but it just needs a little bit of moisture before i start anything so i'm gonna go just put a little warm water in my hair I need it. nothing crazy just so i can separate it i should have left it in those chunky twists but honestly i've been rocking it like this today so at least y'all know i can get an afro like a authentic like pay up the afro out here okay anyway let's go with this hair y'all all right y'all now that i've actually wet my hair and you can tell how low porosity my hair is because you can just see the water just sitting on top but i tried to use warm water so it should be good enough for now, but I'm in my towel. So what I'm using today is a little bit of my Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And I'm gonna be using this just to supplement water because my hair dries faster. As y'all know, I'm starting to see more people do this on YouTube, so I'm happy that it's like translating well, but I started just using mousse instead of water as much because that way my hair dries a little bit quicker. Again, with the low porosity thing for buns, for sleek styles, all that stuff. That's been my little hack for a minute. So I'm just happy because that should work. And then I'm going to use these two guys. They're so gross looking, y'all. I'm sorry I did not clean them for this video. Everyone has a special ingredient that helps them save the day. But like, this is real life. Like, if your hair products are like this, I understand because that means that you're getting good use out of them. It's like, 
I clean them as much as I can, but sis, <clears throat> sometimes life gets rough, okay. Oh, that's the only thing. My ends are super healthy now, but it's still that type four life, you feel me? So anyway, I'm gonna go with my phone. Let's, let us pray. I hope this goes well, y'all. I haven't done a twist out in so long and it used to be like my everything. I used to actually never do wash and goes, but recently I've just been on, well, I've been protective styling a lot. So I'm basically trying to train my hair back into, you know what I mean? Doing what it was supposed to do before. Cause you train your hair, so my hair is basically in training to be, you know what I mean? Basically cornrowed up or in low buns for protective styles. But I do want to train it back into being able to do twist outs, braid outs, and wash and goes. So hopefully I can get that diversity back. I'm just detangling that with the foam. As you can see, foam gives me the same effects that water would as far as like detangling goes. But um, it's going to help my hair dry a little quicker because that's the purpose of foam. I'm gonna take a very, very tiny amount of the twisting souffle and put it all on my ends and then we just go and work up. I use the tiniest amount. A lot of people say they don't like custard and stuff. I'm in that boat usually, but this one literally you just need to, boom, like barely anything. I feel like people be applying custards like they're a gel and they're not, bro. They're not meant to be applied in that way. Actually, after the custard, I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more mousse in because my hair is already starting to dry, which is crazy. But not that crazy though. All right, so now we're just gonna start twisting. Okay, so I'm noticing it's kind of cheaply made. Like it's not really attached as firmly to this as I'd like. But we gonna, you know what I mean, still gonna try to, all right, so I put a little more foam on the ends and then we're going to, I feel like it's gonna come out real cute. I don't know, I like the size and I feel like these would be way more comfortable to sleep on than like perm rods or anything like that. Now that I have my leave in, I'm going to apply that first and detangle. This is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey leave-in conditioner sorry i'm not showing it that well got a nice juicy section here and i'm going to start on the ends i put a lot in there just because then i'm going to add a little bit of foam and i'm going to start at the ends and just go in and try to tangling and this is a ricky's version of a denman Ooh, my hair feels extremely moisturized just with those two products. Wow. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna put a little tiny pinch. It doesn't work with everything. Like, I wish it worked with gels and stuff. All right, so quick review, y'all. The satin, as I said, isn't attached to the rod as well as I would like. So, when I started rolling it, the satin started slipping down. So, that's a big no-no for these that I'm not too fond of, like... What? I would want this to be like attached, like super secure. Okay, let's go in and try this again, y'all. I'm so shook. Did not expect that or see that coming. So what I'm gonna do is since I know this leave-in doesn't work very well with the wet line, but the wet line is getting my hair snatched for the roller, I think I'm gonna just put the leave-in closer to the top and then I'm gonna do the custard closer to the bottom, which is also very moisturizing. But the custard works well with wet line. So it's a process, finding, finding methods and products. I always, this is how I actually got good at my hair is doing what I'm doing now, is just trying new stuff and then adjusting it how I need based on what I like and that's it. All right y'all, so I am back and I am almost done with my whole head. Quickly had a little snack, but what I will say is I ended up using the shower cap kind of like greenhouse method if you will to um keep my hair moisturized while it's in this state because i told you when i started this i literally uh, had accidentally fell asleep with my towel so i'm gonna use a little bit of this paul mitchell the conditioner and if you are on a budget sally's has a bunch of things from their generic line i know that um 
basically is knockoffs of like brands like Paul Mitchell and stuff. But for what you pay for the Paul Mitchell conditioner, which I'll probably put on screen, you get a good amount of product, which is something I really like. Yeah, now I'm just trying to moisturize it as fast as I can. And that's another reason why I even put my twists in here because that's gonna help all the products um, really get into my hair from the heat. So after I take all my twists out of this shower cap, um, you know, leave them in for like five or 10 minutes uh, with some heat, whatever product is left over on my strands, I'm gonna blot it off. All right, so the method I'm using for these is actually I'm doing a leave-in, which is the Paul Mitchell, and then I'm adding in a little bit of one of my favorite products because it smells good, it's very moisturizing, it works with almost every gel on the market, it's so good, it doesn't flavor nothing, and it's the Miel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie, y'all. Let me, let me tell you about how this is my favorite product. I put about this much on a section, I know it seems like a lot, but again, I let the heat allow this stuff to penetrate my hair. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of the Silk Elements Argan Oil, ignore all the conditioner on my hands. I just use about one drop per section, and if it's a slightly bigger section, then two drops. And I really focus it in on the ends, because that is the part of my hair that always seems to be the driest, and we'll go back and add some oil to the roots later. But as you can see, my hair is starting to come back to life from how y'all saw it earlier. Because earlier, girl, like look at and I told you I just did a trim, so look at my ends, yes. Then I'm gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit of wet line to my ends, which is just gonna keep them nice and slick when they're on these rollers. Um, that is big. You don't wanna use too much of it because you don't want your hair to be crunchy. But what's important is I'm putting the oil on before the wet line, so that's going to very much keep my hair from being too crunchy. Well, we got another red flag at these rollers. When I open this one, some of the thread is coming out. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I don't know how I feel about them yet. It depends on how my hair comes out because they weren't expensive either. These were like $2 for 14. So and even if they aren't the greatest, I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. So we'll see. All right, y'all. So I am done with the twist out. The twists are in here currently. And I'm just gonna let them sit for a second and saturate in here and then heat them down and actually sit under the dryer. Oh yeah, and the girls that say, I just let my hair air dry like for a twist out, I'd be like, how? Because I don't know, I have low-porosity hair so I can't, I can't just air dry y'all. I have to, have to sit under the dryer for at least like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Like it just... I will go crazy <laughs> if I try to just air dry my hair. So to the ladies that air dry all the time, is it really just one night that you wake up and do it or what have you? Or is there a secret? Because I need to know. Because if I could just go to sleep with my hair like this or just walk around for a few hours before bed and then wake up with dry hair, I would do it every time, girl, but eight hours of sleep even if my hair is out, won't do it for me. All right, y'all, so it is time to take these down. I actually ended up having them in for two days. If they're not dry after two days, I'm gonna scream, but let's see. I actually got sent some PR from Kiss Colors and Care, and it's their Argan Macadamia hair oil. I'm actually gonna use some of this to take these down. It's very serum-like, so I think this will be good for taking these down. All right, y'all, so this is what we're looking like. I got a little bit of residue, as you can see here. So the one product, the one product I would say not to use for this style, it works well for wash and goes um, with me, but with twists, since there's a lot of manipulation to take them down, I would not use that custard. But that's why you stay and watch to the end of the video, because if you just skim through the video and look for the products I use and just try to do it, then you'd have residue and be like, Brie, you failed us. But make sure if you watch my videos, you always stay till the end because this is when I say what I learned. And so you guys can, you know, avoid any mistakes I even made when you do a recreation. But look, this is what we got so far. Okay, 
And the way getting rid of the residue and stuff is not very hard. So I'm going to show y'all right now. All I do is I take some of that hair oil, just a little drop of that, and I rub it between my fingers. And I just rub, run it down the strand like this. And then I just kind of re-twist that strand. And it completely got rid of it. And then one of my favorite things to do with twist outs is stretch my roots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then come back and show y'all what it looks like. Once it starts to get a little old, I just wear it in a high puff. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. And at night, I either retwist or band them. So if the definition is still really good, I'll band this out and it'll get big. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And what's your favorite mousse? Because I'm on the hunt for a great, great, amazing mousse with hold. So let me know below. Love you guys. Peace out, gang gang. And I'll see you in my next video. I need a little bit of trouble. Let the guns blow